Hey guys, so today's video is going to be something which is a very controversial topic. You know, I'm I'm kind of disgusted doing this video, but at the same time, this is one of those videos which needs to be done because, you know, if if I don't do this video for you guys, every time you take your vehicle to a mechanic or if you go to a mechanic for a complete restoration. there is a fair chance that you might get cheated and you know the situation is so bad that you know i had to actually create this video because see uh, in the near uh, past as in you know 2 to 3 years uh, back people have started a lot of uh, you know vintage craze they actually started restoring vintage motorcycles vintage cars so this kind of applies to both but um, you know i'm i'm going to take the specific example of a suzuki shogun restoration quote that one of our subscribers got from a very famous restorer um in the south um by south i won't say that he is from kerala but i'm not going to give you any further hints because this guy is quite a popular one so what you see on the screen is the um, quote that the uh, customer got from him so so 5000 rupees for the body kit um so you know it it is obvious that it is low if you include the tank also because you won't get the tank for anything less than 3000 and i am pretty sure that this is not including tank and the mask because below you can see mask is left blank um so 5000 rupees for any kind of body kit be it metal be it complete fiberglass or be it the normal oe um plastic abs plastic ones is very high um again the disc assembly kit uh, is the next item so the disc assembly kit basically is uh, from uh apache and uh the fiero f2 so the fiero f2 hub including the adapter plate is around 2500 rupees max um there are people who are also selling it for around 1500 so it depends between 1500 to 2500 then you need uh two apache forks so if you buy second hand you can get those for 2000 rupees including inner tubes and everything in perfect condition if let's say it has met an accident or, and the forks in a tubes are bent then um you might get it for like 1200 1300 but for 2500 you should get decent ones then there is caliper the apache caliper is around 1500 new and around 500 rupees for second hand all the um, major parts that you need to rebuild the caliper is around roughly 500 rupees and then there is master cylinder master cylinder is roughly around 1500 rupees again but if you go second hand you can get under 5500 and you spend another 200 it will be refurbished to new so you need a disc hose uh, which the apache one won't fit because it is little shorter so you need a pulsar this hose two banjo bolts uh a speedometer worm from apache and that's it your apache setup is done um maybe you know if you don't want to use the shogun mudguard then you can you know get an apache mudguard that is roughly around 200 300 rupees in the used market so um disc assembly for 10000 rupees is too high um but then what you can do in such a scenario is you can ask for an itemized rate for anything and everything that you are putting on the bike so let's say if um, the quote is 10000 for the disc um brake setup you find out what um uh, is how much and based on that you can buy and give it to the um restorer and then you know labor i won't really say anything because you know that again depends on the person who restores it so 16500 rupees is not bad um considering the fact that uh, people charge much more than that for restorations but um he has charged 16500 and then he has charged more money in everything below so that is kind of little um you know unethical um then there is spares which he has again 
not mentioned so that again he is going to charge so the entire total comes around 73000 that doesn't include the price of the bike so for 73000 rupees there is no spares procured um what you see here on the screen is what is being done engine rebuild is 8 to 15k there is no way in wor the world the engine rebuild is going to cost that much on a shogun all the bearings and oil seals are under 2000 rupees another let's say 1000 rupees for the crank rebuild and if he needs a next oversize rebore maybe 1000 rupees for the piston and 100 rupees for the rebore so again i don't see a reason for the engine rebuild to be 8 to 15k then there is chrome for 2500 to 3000 it is funny that shogun has only a few chrome bits like you know the four bolts that are on the handle top plate then there is the rear shock uh, four nuts and then the top cup of the rear shock that's it you won't find any other chrome bits except for the kicker and uh, the gear lever of course but it is always advisable to buy a new kicker and gear lever um, because it is not a very expensive thing spokes he has uh, before spokes you know i i would have given him a benefit of doubt that in chrome he is also getting the rims chrome plated plated but again if you see below there is a uh, extra cost for the rims as well spokes are 700 bucks 700 is too high gabriel spokes are 210 rupees um and you need two sets so that is 420 so again 300 rupees added there wheel drawing is maximum 500 so again 300 there chassis bend 1500 you don't need to do chassis bend like you know changing a set of cables only if there is an accident to the bike or if the bike was extensively used for wheeling then there might be a small um you know chassis issue which can be fixed in that scenario but i don't think this scenario the chassis bend actually means there is a bend in the chassis t stem t stem bend 500 rupees again if your handle is crooked to one side then the um t stem bend cost justifies otherwise it doesn't you are putting new forks above for the apache disc so the fork bend for 500 rupees is again a rip off so the next one is seat upholstery so that is 1000 rupees which is reasonable uh, i won't say it is too high um new set of shocks rear shocks would cost around 1300 rupees so spending 800 rupees for the shocks is again stupid uh, tinkering he has not mentioned a price and powder coating he has not mentioned a price so if you see 73000 is just a very rough guesstimate once the bike is rebuilt completely it is going to cost definitely about 80 85 even a lakh so this guy approximately paid 35000 rupees for his bike so now you know a shogun after this kind of a restoration would cost somewhere around 1 1.25 lakhs and that price um if he wants to sell the bike it won't uh, be sold easily so you know it is it is kind of disgusting how these mechanics really want to you know milk um out customers and you know try to take out their entire workshop salary from one bike this is the reason why two strokes are getting expensive not because people from kerala are buying bikes and again um the restoration that a kerala guy does i'm not comparing it with the rest of the india but this is a general practice he will go ahead and change even the smallest washers if you know he can so the restoration um done here is expensive because it is done end to end but not this expensive so you a maximum of 40 to 45000 rupees with each nut and bolt change um uh, is reasonable because you know that is the highest amount this restoration will go you can get a brand new old stock tank you can get brand new old stock side panels tail panel everything and still it is going to cost under um you know 45000 rupees so this is really disgusting and this is how you know uh, mechanics fleece people so if you don't want to get cheated first of all get an itemized bill from of an estimate take that estimate uh, take that list to a shop um, not with the price of course you make your own list and take it to a shop 
ask them to give you a price of each and every part then you will understand how much uh, margin the mechanic is trying to make here so that is how you know you can be little safe otherwise my best recommendation is to collect the spares over a period of time collect everything that is needed and then give it to a mechanic ask him how much it would cost to restore it get it restored another thing is um, you know usually you give a vehicle for restoration and then the mechanic will lose a lot of parts so actually this is too naive of you to think that the mechanic misplaces the parts actually they don't misplace parts they usually sell it to somebody else so finding a trustworthy mechanic is a very important thing this particular subscriber had requested me to restore his bike and you know i just simply said that i can't because i do not have the bandwidth to take another restoration project so this guy actually searched for one of the best restorers online and then he found somebody um he also had an instagram account which looked promising and this guy went ahead and gave his bike for restoration so this is what he had ended up with so i took a permission from him before i decided to share the screenshot with you guys and it is kind of disgusting how you know low these mechanics can go and this guy is a pretty famous one as well so anyways uh um, my recommendation would be to make sure that you do your due diligence and make sure that you get the right kind of um uh, prices for everything procure the parts yourself if possible and then do the restoration through a mechanic so that's it for this video um uh, i hope you got some information if you did uh please like the video if you have any friends or you yourself are um, trying to restore a bike this video will come in handy for you uh, make sure that uh, you share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel thanks a lot i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye